Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about the topic called Arduino Array and Arduino Delay. Okay. So how these array as well as delay functions are used in Arduino programming, let's, let us see right now. Okay. So first, getting into the programming of Arduino Array, first we need to know what are these arrays. So the arrays are defined as the data structures that allow multiple values to be grouped together in a simple way. Or we can also put it in this way, like grouping or combining of similar elements. Okay. It can be integers or it can be some sort of values or it can be some sort of data combining or grouping together, uh, which can be used in the instructions for multiple purposes. Okay. So these arrays are generally built from data types like integers, reals, characters, boolean, and all these things. Okay. So coming to the Arduino array, the array in the Arduino is declared with integer data type like int. Okay. So it is also defined as the collection of variables, which is acquired with some index number. Okay. So the array is represented in this way. So an array of with uh, square brackets with the uh, some number that is considered as the position of the element. Okay. And with some assigned value. Okay. So if you see over here, AR is the name of the array. We can give any kind of name. Okay. And it, the value present in this particular square bracket is considered as the position of element with an array. Okay. And this particular uh, position of elements is enclosed with the square brackets. Okay. So whatever we are assigning, that will be our assigned value. So if you see the array declaration, the array declaration can be in many ways. So if you take the variable like uh, name, like my array. So uh, there are three representations over here. Int my array square brackets which is equal to some values okay so int my array of phi where phi comes the position okay and int my array square brackets of eight where it comes the position with some values these there are multiple ways to represent this array declaration okay coming to the Arduino delay so this Arduino delay function is one of the most famous uh, function regularly used in the Arduino programming. So here, Arduino delay specifies the delay function used in the Arduino programming. Okay. So which uh, pauses the program or a task for a specific duration of time. Okay. So let us say uh, 1000 milliseconds. So let us say I want to blink some LED. Okay. So blinking of LED itself indicates uh, for a particular time, the LED is on and for a particular time, the LED is off. That means there is some delay between LED on and off. Okay. So especially for the Arduino programming, one second is considered as thousand milliseconds. And with respect to milliseconds, we are going to write the uh, program. Okay. So if you see over here, delay of 500. Okay. So delay of 500 means if 500 is considered as the 500 milliseconds, which is nothing but half second or 0.5 second. Okay. Now let's see this uh, statement over here. Delay of 1500. As I've already said, one second is 1000 milliseconds and half second is obviously 500 milliseconds, right? Now here, what is indicated here? The delay of 1500 is indicated. So 1500 means 1500 milliseconds. That means almost one and a half second or 1.5 second. Okay. So always the delay will be written in the lower case. And whatever the milliseconds or the time delay we want to give, that will be in the parenthesis. Okay. So let's see a small program over here. So this is a program related to LED blinking. So int LED light pin is given as eight. So wherever we are connecting this particular LED positive terminal, that is the pin number of eight of an Arduino. And we already know there will be two default functions. One is void setup and one is void loop. Setup means whatever the pin we are uh, initializing. Okay. So whether it is an input mode or output mode, we need to declare it. Okay. So a pin mode, LED light pin, that is nothing but the eighth pin is the output. As the LED is an output device in the form of light, we are considering it as an output. Okay. And coming to void loop, what 
should be done, what logic should be done means we need to make the LED pin or eighth pin as high for a particular uh, time. And after that, again, the LED pin need to go low. After a particular time, again, the LED pin should be high. Okay. So see, digital right LED light pin. LED light pin is over here, eight, right? So LED pin is high. Up to how much time? Up to delay of 1500 milliseconds. 1500 milliseconds means 1.5 second. Okay. So LED light pin will be high for an 1.5 second. After that particular 1.5 second, again, we are writing a digital right LED light pin. That means LED eighth pin. Okay. Ordinary eighth pin as low. So after 1.5 second, the LED again goes off. Okay. Up to how much time? Up to a delay of 500 millisecond. 500 millisecond is half second. Okay. So after that, as this whole statements are declared in the loop, it will be keep on repeating. So LED goes high after 1.5 second. Again, LED goes slow. After half second, again, LED goes high. It keeps on repeating for infinite times as it is uh, given in the loop. So this is how a delay is uh, declared. Okay.